this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles and I'm here today at an incredibly uh, famous place called Sleepy Hollow. And this is Sleepy Hollow Cemetery where there's a lot of famous people, including Washington Irving, who did the infamous tale of the Sleepy Hollow and Dr. Leo Bakeland is also buried here, as well as some other famous people like the Rockefellers, as well as um, Andrew Carnegie. And today, um, I'm shooting a video. It's for my new series called The Bronx Bobbles Tale, where I get to showcase some of my books. And most of the times, the books that I showcase are um, on vintage costume jewelry. And this book is so exciting and so apropos because it is October, right before the Halloween season. And so this book is called Dressed for Thrills. And it is by Phyllis Galembo, and it's an incredibly beautiful, gorgeous uh, Halloween costume book. And um, it tells you the history of costumes in play for the Halloween season. So uh, this book is so amazing. And even though it doesn't pertain necessarily to vintage costume jewelry, I just needed to bring this to you at this beautiful, incredible setting. Um, and so, um, I wanted to share a couple of Halloween stories with you. When I was a young girl, I had seven brothers and sisters and we lived in the South Bronx. Back in the 70s, um, Halloween costumes was uh, not as elaborate as they were today. In fact, I came from the generations where uh, people would make up their own costumes at home. And so um, every year for about three years straight, my mother would dress me up as a hobo. And I absolutely hated being dressed like a hobo because I would have to wear Maybelline eyeliner uh, and covered up my tooth so that it looks like I had a couple of missing teeth. I would put some, you know, face paint things on my face to make it look like if I, if I was dirty. I'd wear my brother's holy dirty clothes and my uh, big sister's or brick brother's shoes and it would be flopping on my feet. And I wanted to be a glamorous princess. I wanted to be a fairy. I wanted to be beautiful. I wanted to wear a sparkly tutu dress. I didn't want to be a hobo. But in those days, you didn't have a choice in the matter um, because we had to make up our own costumes. In fact, my brothers would put on white sheets and they would cut out holes um, to make them look like ghosts. Um, and that we'd be, my older sister, she would be dressed up as a gypsy because she was able to wear red lipstick and I wasn't. On this faithful day, um, it was the first time I ever had a crush on this little boy. We went trick-or-treating and I was getting my candy and we knock on the door and guess who opened up the door? I was mortified because I had to, uh, I was dressed up like a hobo and I didn't want to be dressed up like a hobo. And I ran from there and I was so embarrassed and I never wanted to go trick-or-treating again. So the following year, um, my, uh, I begged my mother to please get me a regular costume like everyone else. And she brought me a Wonder Woman costume. And I absolutely loved, loved, loved it. Um, because she was glamorous and she was beautiful and Linda Carter was Latina and I loved Wonder Woman I loved the empowerment that she had and so finally after three years of being a hobo I was finally something significant a strong beautiful woman and it was Wonder Woman so that's my Halloween story the book Dress for Thrills displays fabulous, colorful, and vivid pictures of Halloween costumers, both for children and adults alike. The layout and the design of this book is really neat too. This book has a wealth of colorful and incredible images of vintage Halloween costumes going back 100 years. It depicts revelers and trick-or-treaters parading around in their Halloween attire. What I love the most about this book, besides the pictures, is that they display vintage costumes on modern children showing how they would have looked wearing these incredible costumes back in the day. The pictures can be downright creepy and ghoulish. I mean, check this picture out of a handmade ghostly long skull mask from 1910. Super creepy, I must say, worthy of a horror flick. I love the graphic and creepy pictures the most. I enjoy books first because of the visuals and then go back and look at the text. In Dress for Thrills, one of the biggest complaints was that the book is more like a costume catalog than it is a historical reference. It's definitely a light read versus some heavy information, which in truth, Halloween has a deep, dark background going 
back to ancient times with religious connotations to it. Another complaint was that the book did not add anything new to the history of Halloween costuming, but I'm a visual person and I need and want lots of pictures in my books. And of course the history of pieces are important to me, but I happen to like the creepy and strange pictures in this book. It's Halloween after all. I would say that I would have liked to have read more about the history of the vintage costumes, for example, perhaps what inspired folks to wear them. And I would have liked to have seen some depictions of non-PC costumes for historical reference, such as blackface, Native American. Although I know that's a tough one to pull off, it is part of costuming history and American history. And it relates to more of an anthropological point of view of the history of Halloween costumes book brought me back to my childhood growing up in the 1970s and 80s in the South Bronx, New York City. It brought me back to my first visit to Greenwich Village Costume Parade in 1984. It brought me back to a time when I worked as a costume designer for the International Theater Festival and the theater department where I worked as a wardrobe mistress all throughout my college years. And for that reason, I wanted to bring you this book. Dress for Thrills is a great book to add to your book collection if you enjoy anything related to Halloween costuming and theatrical costuming and will look fabulous as a cocktail table book. The book is all about the pictures and if you like the strange and the curious and the oddities, this is a book you should have in your book collection.